The stronger you become mentally, the stronger you become physically. Sheldon is about to do his first 10K. <gasps> Same place where I did my first 10K. Sea Point Promenade. If you are ever wanting to get into long distance running, highly advise. Like if you're attempting your first 10K or your first half marathon, I did all of my firsts at the promenade because it's just so beautiful. It's pretty flat. It all distracts you. The sea next to you, running with the sea breeze. It's just such a vibe. I'm just gonna take it super slow and just run it for the distance, not running for the time. I'm excited for you, my love. I'm so proud of you. What a stunning day. Beautiful. My back is still so sore from yesterday. It's worse. It feels worse. I should have foam rolled this morning. We'll see how this run goes. Just in the first kilometer, I'm trying to pace him at about a seven minute pace because you don't want to kill it the first 10k you do. Just want to have a nice, nice experience, nice and easy, enjoy the run, accomplish it, not feel like you get halfway and you don't think you can finish. Yeah, slow is fast and fast is slow. Ooh, that sugar sweet, you got what I need. We're almost halfway. If you start off slow, your body will naturally want to pick up the pace. There's so many times that I had to slow myself down because I didn't even realize I was pushing it. It's been so helpful checking my Garmin, checking my pace, keeping us on point, making sure that we finish this run strong and not broken. Just by the portion. That view is gorgeous. Oh, we're so spoiled. We've just got under two kilometers to go. Woo! Still keeping pace. This is awesome. Such a beautiful day. We're on our very last kilometer, hitting about a 650 pace. We're gonna finish this so strong. That's 20 and we're done. Woo. Done. One hour, 11 minutes, 30 seconds. It's first 10K. Amazing. Oh, I'm gonna check in, see how he feels. Woo. I'm feeling really, really good. Back's feeling a bit better. This is just such a fun run. I'm so happy I was able to help him through it. Every now and again I had like a... Maybe I should just walk like 20 meters just yeah. to get it like comfortable. But you didn't walk. You pushed through it, babe. Feel like you accomplished something? Yeah. Mine. Goal for 2022. Goal for 2022. You're not even halfway and you already smashed your goal for 2022. What's next? A faster thing, <laughs> Sub one. Uh, yeah, maybe. Now for the best part, a dip in the ocean. Nothing better after a hot, long run. Oh, can't wait. A dodgy little change and now we're going for brunch this Sunday is turning out to be one of the best Sundays we've had in a while actually I lie we've had a lot of good Sundays but still mm -hmm. this is like if I had to choose a Sunday this is how I would spend it a run a dip in the sea 
and then brunch. Could you ask for anything better? stocked up on venice and mints because geez i eat so much of it and now it's not even three o'clock we're already heading home i have a student later that i have to teach and then we gotta make dinner and have a sunday snooze be tired my love yeah yeah just got home i'm hungry but it was such a good day definitely going back to loading bay again for a burger I've had their burgers before. It is so good. So if you're in Seapoint, if you're in Cape Town, try the Loading Bay. It is really good food. But I have a student very soon. I actually got a cover for my watch finally. I should have done that when I first got my watch. Silly of me. This is your sign. If you have a watch, go get a cover. I went to Vodacom and I, they gave me like three other covers for it so if this one peels off i can just put another one on and you buy eight at a time actually i think it was eight of them still haven't decided if i'm gonna redo 22.1 i don't know we'll see i guess you'll have to stay tuned for the next vlog to see if i'm crazy enough to redo it <sighs> thank you for watching guys i appreciate all the support hope you have the most wonderful week wherever you are and I'll see you in the next one. I can eat this whole plate of food and enjoy it. And it is like, I think this is 600 calories. Whereas if you eat highly processed foods, I don't know, I watched Natasha Oceana just showed like a whole thing of ultra processed foods. She had a small little burger this size and it was 700 calories. When you eat whole foods, you can have a whole plate, whole foods, whole plate of food and be so satisfied afterwards and fuel your body correctly. Yum.